Welcome to the art show. First up, we have Ronan O'Keefe creating a cartoon from a decoded fun fact using his iPad to create a picture. Way to go, Ronan. Jace Lonberger from kindergarten created a fall tree with blending on the trunk with oil pastels and he used Monet inspired leaves and pumpkins. Ricky Amazon created a castle in the sun by Paul Klee working with shapes and blending with oil pastels and lines. First graders had a study of line shapes and patterns using Dr. Seuss as an inspiration for his crazy cleaning machine from his book The Cat in the Hat. The boys also created a machine as a collaborative art assignment working with line shapes, patterns, and colors to create a new invention that was using something we already have into making something kind of magical like a dragon. Noah in second grade discovered Grant Wood's Prairie and created landscape with oil pastels. Shadows were introduced as well as form. Third grade girls enjoyed creating clay owls. Students used oil pastels to color and painted black tempera paint on top. The owls were then gently washed to reveal texture. Third graders enjoyed a mini unit on Egypt. Students discovered a sarcophagus is a decorated case and they enjoyed using hieroglyphics to tell a story about themselves. They also included patterns, colors, and blending with the oil pastels. Students in fourth and second created clay mushrooms. Students were excited about adding on to their mushroom detail at details and then they finished painting them with bright hues with acrylics. Fourth graders viewed Van Gogh's Avenue of Poplars in Autumn. They used <clears throat> paint and oil pastels to achieve a one-point perspective landscape to give the illusion of space. Fourth graders discovered Magritte, false mirrors. Cooper finished his new eye using color themes around the eye using colored pencils. It was dot day back in September where all fourth and fifth graders used scratch art to techniques to create these beautiful mandalas. Fifth grade constructed decorative coil pots using variety and rhythm. Fifth grade also created hand built, hand built clay fairy houses and painted with acrylics. Each one has a unique each one was unique and beautiful. In November of 2019, all fifth graders discovered Jasper John's flags. We discussed briefly the history of the flag with the field and stripes. Students were encouraged to write something they were proud of on the flag for their big Veterans Day ceremony. We are proud of all of our veterans. You scream, we scream, we all scream for ice cream. Fifth, fifth graders devoured this lesson creating the most delicious paper mache ice cream cones from being inspired by Klaus Oldenburg's and his soft sculptures. Jackson Smith created a string art square using patterns. He enjoyed learning about Leonardo da Vinci and creating perspective and used the square as a box in space, disappearing at the vanishing point. Darian created a string art square and enjoyed the lesson on Leonardo da Vinci. She designed her box in space with more of a laser show feel. A group of fifth graders discovered medieval armor and created a sword, shield, and face mask. Gunner used medieval symbols and color choices to create his armor set. Finally, the art club enjoyed constructing clay shoes Different shoes weren't discussed as students jumped at the chance to create their own. Way to go, artist. I am so proud of you here at Black's Mill. I miss you dearly. Just keep hanging on and do your best, and we will all get through this together. Welcome to Kylo Elementary School's portion of the 2020 Countywide Art Show. I'm Miss Fowler, some of you call me Miss Art Fowler, 
And I just want to say, as we all stay home to do our part in keeping each other healthy and safe, we are becoming more creative than ever. We are using what we can find around the house to make our art. The act of making art is becoming more important too, as it allows us to escape from stress and focus on something that makes us feel good. And now, please enjoy Art at Home. This portrait made by Cora Thorpe was drawn and colored after a portrait painted by Van Gogh. Cora is in kindergarten. This monkey, made by Josie Price, is made out of small circles and large circles. Some of the circles are whole circles and some of them are half circles. Josie is in kindergarten. This spring tree, made by Balin Rankin, is drawn with chalk in his driveway. Balin is in kindergarten. Haley Hughes has made two houses here. You can see in one house there are cats and in the other house there's dogs. She has done a good job writing, counting, and adding. Haley is in kindergarten. These spring trees were drawn by Max Wood. The smallest tree is in the back because it is the farthest away. Max is in kindergarten. This animal was made by Arabella Wood. She made her animal out of whole and half circles. Some of them are large and some of them are small. Arabella is in first grade. This ladybug was made by Renesmee Boyce. It's a fraction ladybug made with small and large whole circles and two large half circles. Renesmee is in first grade. These spring trees were drawn by Kylie Burnett. She drew them digitally on an app. Kylie is in first grade. This cardboard sculpture was made by Zephyr Allen. As you can see, her cat has inspected it, and I think her cat has moved in. Zephyr is in first grade. This can of spaghetti was drawn by Rory Smith. You can see the can has tipped over and spilled on the table. There's one big meatball in the middle. Rory is in first grade. This turtle is made out of fractions and was made by Abigail Black. She used a whole circle for the head, a half circle for the shell, and four fourths to make the feet. Abigail is in first grade. This cardboard sculpture, which is a house, was made by Tuesday Christopher. It looks like one of her toys has moved in. Tuesday is in first grade. This fraction ladybug was drawn by Samuel Loring. You can see he labeled his fractions because he used two half circles to make the shell. He also used small hole circles to decorate the shell and the feet. Samuel is in second grade. These fraction frogs were made by Bentley Taffer. Bentley used whole circles for the bodies. He also used whole circles but folded them in half to make the heads. He drew half circles to make the mouths. Bentley is in second grade. This fraction crab was made by Benjamin Redinger. He used a whole circle folded in half for the body and then four small whole circles folded in half 
to make the cloth. Benjamin is in second grade. This castle map was drawn by Christian Vanderpool. He included a lot of detail in his map. His castle model, also pictured here, matches his map very well. Christian is in second grade. This can of beans was drawn by Kellen Bush. You can see that it has turned over and spilled on the table. Kellen is in second grade. This fraction fish was made by Charlie Wolford. She folded a whole circle into fourths and cut one fourth away and moved it to the back to make the tail. Charlie is in second grade. This castle map was drawn by Opal Baldwin. She included imaginative details like a dragon and a knight on a horse. She even drew people in the key. Opal is in second grade. This picture was drawn by Eloise Baldwin. Eloise and other students learned about sloths. Eloise is showing the sloth living in its forest habitat and also someone cutting down the trees to make the buildings in the background. Eloise is in third grade. This castle model was built by Carter Byers. Carter included a lot of details like rocks around his moat and an alligator in the moat. You can see in his castle map also pictured that his map design and his castle model match. Carter is in third grade. This drawing by Emmett Garman shows a sloth in its tree home and also a person getting ready to cut down the tree. Emmett is in third grade. Kendall Keeney has drawn an up-close view of a sloth hanging from a tree. She's also showing how sloths have green moss growing on their fur. Kendall is in third grade. Amelia and Sydney Honia, who are in third and fourth grade, work together to make this giant model castle. It's big enough for both of them and their dolls to fit inside. Ella Carrington drew this drawing of a sloth and when it's happy and when it's sad. It's happy in its forest environment and sad when its environment has been destroyed to build a city. Ella is in fourth grade. Jordan Curitan has drawn a sloth up close so that we can see its details. Jordan is in fourth grade. Jack Watson is drawn has drawn a sloth hanging from its tree forest tunnel. You can also see a tree that's been chopped down and the city in the distance that was built and its habitat was destroyed. Jack's is in fourth grade. Lucy Purdom created this abstract drawing by overlapping many squares and coloring with light spring colors. Lucy is in fifth grade. Zoe Jenkins drew this zoomed in eyeball. You can see so many details. She created the layered shadow effect by laying her picture under a tree and photographing it. Zoe is in fifth grade. Presley Glass created these 3D orb sculptures. One of them is round and the other one is square. So you're seeing two views 
of each. Presley is in fifth grade. This up close sloth drawing was made by Mackenzie Mason. Mackenzie is showing the different texture of the sloth's fur and the tree branch. She's also drawn a cell diagram next to the sloth. Mackenzie is in fifth grade. This concludes Kylo Elementary School's portion of the 2020 Countywide Art Show. I hope all of you are staying safe and well and happy at home. I miss you and love you very much.
This is a collage piece by Madeline Baird in kindergarten. I love how she created a pattern along the edge of her paper. This is a mixed media piece by Emmett Rose in first grade. I love the expression on his bear's face. This is a mixed media piece by Skyla Dakotu in first grade. I love the colors in her sunset and how the footprints fade into the distance. This is a painting by Nolan Deerwent in first grade. I love how he painted big and small sunflowers to create depth. This is a mixed media piece by Carter Depp in second grade. I love how he blended his colors to create a sunset. This is a chalk pastel piece by Rylan Nichols in second grade. I love the expression on her monster's face. This is a paper sculpture by Jolie Ernest in third grade. I love how realistic her cupcake looks. This is a painting by Kenley Talley in third grade. I love the expression on her tiger's face. This is a mixed media piece by Sophie Bennett in third grade. I love all of the different line patterns that she created. This is a clay piece by Jaden Bearden in fourth grade. I love how he painted it to look like a watermelon. This is a metal engraving by Emma Kate Castleberry in fourth grade. I love all the patterns she used and how well she colored this piece. This is a drawing by Kevin Landeros Vargas in fourth grade. I love all the details and shadings in his drawing. This is a mixed media piece by Kennedy Silvers in fourth grade. I love how she chose unusual colors to create a pop art giraffe. This is a clay piece by Jalacia Spears in fifth grade. I love all of the details she used to create this piece and how carefully she painted it. This is a clay piece by Gloria Jazerska in fifth grade. I love her color choices and use of polka dots. This is a collage by Caroline Hughes in fifth grade. I love how carefully she placed the magazine strips and the detail in her dog's eyes. This is a drawing by Aiden Oglesby in fifth grade. I love how he reinvented American Gothic and how he filled the entire page. This is a drawing by William Holloway in fifth grade. I love how carefully he colored this piece and that he created a version of American Gothic that was personal to him. This is a drawing by Aiden Good in fifth grade. I love how creative his hot air balloon design is and all of the details that he put into it. Welcome to Dawson County Middle School's online art show. Emerson states that what she really likes about her art is the feather looking texture on the cardinal. She used colored pencils in different shades of red and brown. Tate wants everyone to know that this is a stained glass cow that he has colored with markers. Hayden said that she enjoyed this project, although it was time consuming and tedious with all the little details like these scales and flowers. She was happy with the result. Addison created a stained glass piece of an underwater scene. Quinn likes her lighthouse because it's on a hill and lighthouses on a hill remind her of peace. She loves her purple sky and is really proud of herself for making such a beautiful piece of art. Autumn used multiple materials to create her winter cardinal scene. Layla says about her art that this is a horse in a pasture with many, many colors. She is proud of her artwork because of the detail and color she put into it. Graceland's koi fish was created using color pencils and watercolors. Cape would like to say that for his stained glass, the colors and shapes in his, the piece have created a natural, yet industrial feeling and look. Cora really enjoyed working with the oil pastels. She also loved having her friends for inspiration. 
Australia wants to say that she really enjoyed creating her cardinal. She likes how the sky turned out with the watercolors and how the color pencils and oil pastels created the texture look. Riley's inspiration came from a mouse. Jade felt like it was so hard to color with the color pencils. Ava states that her artwork is a stained glass wolf howling at the moon. She created this to illustrate wolves communicating during a full moon. Mia's lighthouse was created with oil pastels and shows a beautiful sunrise. Isaiah thinks that he made a very good contrast between the light watercolor sky and the dark cardinal and tree. He created this with oil pastels and color pencils. Mia created a stained glass piece using a garden for her inspiration. Anthony also created a stained glass piece and he used a tree for his inspiration. Alston states that his zoomed eye used a combination of multiple colors. He blended the colors smoothly and he created a fur texture around the zoomed eye. Madeline used the color wheel as the focal point of her dragon's eye. Michaela stated that her pointillism is of a rose and she likes how the colors blend and how she created an ombre effect. Amanda created a pop art style picture of Pluto. Katie blended oil pastels to create her piece. Michaela says that her zoomed eye is in the perspective of a wolf. She colored with colored pencils on the inside of the eye and it was shaded with a pencil for the fur. Abigail says that she really liked her pointillism drawing because of the orange. She likes the way the colors blended together and thinks it gave it a good look all around. She really liked doing pointillism even though it takes forever. Eric really likes how his pop art style looks like it could really appear in a comic book. The materials he used were pencils, markers, and sharpies, as well as the provided paper with circles printed on it. Kimberly created this eye, blending oil pastels. Nolan stated that he is proud of his work because of all the detail he put into it. Just by looking at it, you are able to tell it is some kind of reptile from the pattern in scales. Emma says that she really enjoyed making art using the style of pointillism, even though it takes an eternity to finish. She states that when she was making her picture using points, she realized how much she enjoys using markers in the pointing fashion. Kimberly created a print by carving into styrofoam, then rolling ink onto the styrofoam with a brayer, and then transferred the image onto paper. 